Well, hey y'all. I am going out into the world today, which is very exciting. Safety first, seatbelt. Anyway, I am going to meet Ryan from A Man With The Plans. I'm gonna leave his channel down below if you wanna go follow him. But we just wanted to catch up. It's just so nice to see people face to face, even though I saw him just a couple of weeks ago. It doesn't matter, I just, human interaction is just like something that is very much needed. Um, so anyway, we have decided, this is my first time going to a rest, like a sit down restaurant and eating in there. Minnesota has been open in a like certain capacity for a while now and um ryan and i talked about it we're both comfortable with it so we're gonna go to a really good mexican restaurant um kind of halfway between our respective places and i actually had a couple of comments yesterday on my like health update um asking about like food intake and things like that i don't eat spicy food um i also don't eat anything that i think would exacerbate my problems especially in the nighttime. that's usually when i have problems so like i couldn't necessarily have like even a mild salsa in the evening, but I can have it like now in the afternoon. So it's like 11 o'clock right now. So it just depends on my body. So um, yeah, I just, I don't even like spicy food, but um, the things that I do order when I go to places that have spicy foods are way, way mild. Um, so yeah, anyway, just wanted to like let you know that. But um, yeah, uh, my battery light's flashing, but whatever, it'll be fine for the little journey. And um, yeah, I will hopefully get to show you Ryan and um, maybe my food. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'm excited. See you in just a second. Okay, well hi. <laughs> so uh, lunch is over and it's about three o'clock. Well, a little before three o'clock. We talked for a very long time, but it was good. We got together and um, yeah, the food was excellent. I don't think Ryan had ever been here before, um, but yeah, just it was just a good time. It was good to just catch up, see each other. Again, human interaction. Um, I will say this, the staff here was super safe. They had uh, limited seats and they also had like every other booth open. And um, our server, or actually all the servers and food runners were wearing masks, were very accommodating and very kind. And I was just really impressed. So um, I think I will go out into the world again if I can, you know, try to help out local businesses. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's been a long time and I'm sure they are hurting as well because they haven't been working or they didn't work for a while and even now there's just not as many patrons coming in to you know have lunch or dinner or whatever so anyway but yeah lunch was awesome I'm so glad that I went and did it and um, I gotta say I was a little bit nervous about um, eating out in a public place um, but I was safe I have my hold on hold on let me turn my car off I'll show you I have my Touchland. Um, it's super awesome, this power mist. And it comes with this, well, it doesn't come with the case, but you have to buy the case separately. But I have this on my keys. It's really great. Um, it's a moisturizing hand sanitizer. It comes in a bunch of different colors and scents and stuff. And um, I always just give myself a couple pumps before I go into a place or I leave a place and I'm gonna like touch a door handle. So yeah, hand sanitizer. It's freaking amazing. I will leave a link for Touchland down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it and it's so convenient just to have it. I also have like other hand sanitizer in my bag. I have like some stuff I got from the grocery store and then I have like masks and stuff like that in my bag as well. Like, boop. Anywho. But yeah, so um, that's it for me for the moment. I will check in with you guys a little bit later when I get home and I may have to go get gas today as well. So I will do that when I'm closer to home. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. Bye. Well, uh, blue. I cannot talk today. Well, hello and um, welcome back to the vlog. It is seven, about 7.30. Doyle's down there. Been at my computer for a little bit because I'm doing things. But one of you guys on my video that I just or that I posted today has very good eagle eyes, and I will show you what um, I'm talking about. So I actually put it away. 
<laughs> I had this like rainbow box up here and um, the individual was like, that box behind you is so distracting. Is that a hollow taco box? I'm like, yeah, girl. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let me grab it and I'm going to show you guys what it is. I will tell you, I'll leave the link below to Hollow Taco. If you guys don't know, Hollow Taco is an independent nail polish brand started by Christine from ha or from Simply Nailogical here on the YouTubes. They are sold out of the box set that I'm going to show you, but I think they have some maybe in stock, but I did I do follow her and she said that they're going to be restocking these, but it'll probably be towards the end of the summer. So I would assume that that's going to be in August. I don't know, but you can follow Hollow Taco for more information. So hold on. All right. La, la, da. Here is the Hollow Taco Rainbow Collection box. It is their linear Hollow Taco. Isn't that so beautiful, you guys? Like, ooh. <laughs> it's so pretty. All right. So. This is like a little collector's, ow, how am I, oh, I see, I'm like, I'm gonna break a nail opening the damn thing, okay. <laughs> so anyway, it has this like little clasp, and you open it up, and it says, don't lick the rainbow, <laughs> but it has all the colors, so I'm just gonna pan through the colors real quick so you can see them. I have not taken them out of the box yet. But yeah, I think they're so beautiful and I'm very excited to start playing with these. I just haven't played with them yet. Um, so yeah, that is, that's what's in the box, you guys. That is what's in the box. So yeah, I think I might, um, I have a shelf that I wanna put right here and I've been talking about this for like way too long, but I think I wanna display the box up there. But um, I know that it's in this contraption, so if I want to play with my rainbow nail polish, I can. So I'm just gonna leave it right there. So anywho, um, yeah, that's what's in the box. So good catch, good catch. I hadn't even like shown it on social media or opened it or any of that stuff. I mean, I opened it myself, but I hadn't actually like opened it and shared it on social. I should really do that. <laughs> I don't know, I just haven't done it yet. So, yeah, and it is storming outside now, which is like one of my favorite things. Do you guys like thunderstorms and like raining in general? Like it just, I don't know why, but I really like it. I don't know, some people absolutely have a fear of it, which I get, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know, I like it. I like it guys, I like it. So I'm gonna go with some soup tonight. This is like a soup, just a dry soup I get at Aldi. Easy, I'm boring tonight. Well, let's be honest, I'm boring like basically every freaking night. I think it's a soup kind of a thing. All right, water on the stove, we're good to go. And uh, in the box, we actually get two soup packets. Ta -da! two soup packets so I just use one of them and then I save one for later and I just put it back in my little my little pantry organization and every time I show my pantry I always forget I'm gonna leave a link up above for you guys for my pantry organization tour thing because I always get lots of questions about it that's still unorganized don't judge me Okay, so yeah, that's what's going on here. Oh man, oh, I am just like beat today. It was like nine, it was over 90 degrees today. And yes, I didn't spend like a lot of time outside, but whew, I don't know. But um, that's why I'm kind of excited for the rain situation at the moment. So I'm like, oh, maybe that will like calm the world down a little bit, you know, my, my little slice of the world. It'll just relax the temperature in the air. Let's see what it actually says. Ooh, it's 84 degrees. Ooh, 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 84 degrees. I don't know. So, I don't know. It says there's thunderstorms. Yay. Ooh, it's supposed to storm like all night until about three, which is kind of good. And then 
tomorrow it'll be 87 for a high and partly cloudy tomorrow i have uh, doyle's vet visit so we're gonna do that and it's gonna be really easy well i don't know for me it's gonna be easy for the vet and like texts and stuff it's not gonna be that great doyle does not do well at the vet so i can only imagine what kind of like terror he is going to ensue on them so i don't know He's quietly sleeping upstairs right now, but uh, I don't know. He's an ornery man. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that on Monday. So that'll be pretty easy. I just have to sit in the parking lot and wait. I'm sure that'll go pretty well. We'll see. And then I have like plans like every day this week, like things, like other things that are going on, like either later in the evening or during the day, like stuff I need to take care of. So like I have a pretty like chalked week, um, except for, I think it's Saturday. I think Saturday is the only day that I don't have any, any, anything firm going on. So basically Saturday is still my like laundry day. And then it's the beginning of, beginning or end of the month, kind of depending on how the week pans out. Um, I do all of the like extra bedding laundry. So like all the blankets, all the like pillow coverings. I mean, I do that on a weekly basis anyways, but I do like everything in the house, like all of these blankets and stuff like that. You know, you kind of have to, um, having a dog that sheds like a monster. <laughs> so I do that once a month for sure. Um, Cause I don't really, I mean, I do have some blankets upstairs that are just like clean sitting on the chair upstairs in the loft. But the only reason they're up there is because it's like warm right now. So I don't need a ton of blankets like on my bed and stuff like that. So to be honest, I just need to like fold them up and put them away. I haven't done it, no. I haven't done it because randomly at night I will still get like very very cold once in a while so I need like an extra blanket like really quickly um it's usually on my feet I don't know I don't know I try to eliminate as many blankets as I can on my bed just because it's just more things for Doyle to be gross <laughs> Oh, anyway, but yeah, so that's uh, that's what's going on here. I think I'm gonna close up the vlog here just because I don't have anything else that's going on today, you guys. Like, nothing exciting. I have to like text back a friend and confirm some things for a little later in the week, and um, that's really all I have going on besides I'm gonna eat my soup in a little bit. That's not very exciting. <laughs> um, and if you guys don't have an Aldi by you and you're interested in the soup, it's um, really similar to the um, Lipton extra noodle soup, the dry soup from Lipton. It's very, very similar to that. So just, just FYI. So anyway, that's gonna be it today. I would show you Doyle, but he's still, <clears throat> he's still sleeping like a baby upstairs. So I'm not gonna disturb his little baby slumber. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day or hopefully a great Monday because you guys will see this on Monday if you're watching and following along. If not, I hope you're just having a great day in general. Why not? But thanks for following along and watching my little June Vloon vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do the thumbs up, make a comment, subscribe, do all those things those YouTubers tell you to do. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.